Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. In our today's lesson, I am going to show you the use of script menu in Algodoo. First, let's draw a rectangle and then let's draw a circle as well. Now let's add a central axle to both of these objects so that we can rotate them. Now right click any on any of these objects and open the script menu from this option. Now let's turn on the simulation and also let's turn off the gravity as well as the air resistance from these two buttons. I will show you these properties one by one. First, let's come towards this adhesion property. Chemistry students know well about uh, adhesion property. To see the effect of adhesion property, let's first draw another object near this rectangle. Bring this closer to this object. Now let's increase the value of adhesion to 10. Bring this back to the rectangle. Now let's turn on the gravity so that we can see the effect of adhesion. As you can see, the ball has now stuck to the square and it doesn't fall to the ground. If you reduce the adhesive forces between the two objects, you will see that the ball will fall to the ground. Now let's come towards this property that is the air friction. If you increase this value, the object's resistance with the air or friction with the air will increase and it will be harder to rotate this object with higher resistance or friction with the air. Let's increase it to 1000 for example and now let's try to rotate this rectangle. As you can see, it is very hard to rotate because it is having a greater resistance with air. Now let's decrease the resistance. Okay, now let's try again. As you can see, it is now rotated. If you decrease it further down to zero, you will see that there will be no friction of this object with the air. Now let's come to this property, the angle property. By changing the value of this, you will see that the object is rotating and it is changing its angle. Change it. You will see the angle has now changed. Now let's change the angle value of this circle. Open the script menu. Change this angle value. You see that the object has rotated now and it has changed its angle. Then we have another property which is called angle well which is which means angular velocity so if you increase this value you will see the object will start rotating because you are increasing the angular velocity of this object also let's try this angular velocity in this circle object see it has start rotating now
Now let's come towards this property, which is attraction. It is just like attractive forces between two magnets, for example. If you increase the value of attraction of this circle, you will see that the circles down on the ground will be attracted towards this bigger circle and they will be attached to it. Let me tell you that if you put this value with a negative symbol or a negative sign, then this circle will repel the objects attached to it. It means the negative value will have the opposite effect to the attractive forces. Now let's come to this uh, another property, the color property. Uh, it has four values. The first one is red, the second is green, and the third one uh, represents the blue color, RGB. And the fifth one and the fourth one uh, is the transparency or the opacity of the object. By changing the values of these uh, properties, you will see the color of the object is changing. As you can see, it has become white now. Change this value. Now it is like purple or pink. It has become red now. There is another property uh, below this which is called color HSVA. Uh, it has the same uh, color effect on the object. It changes the color but in different values. Let's draw another circle. Go to the script menu. Now let me show you the effect of changing the value of the density. If you decrease the value of this density, you will see the ball will fly in the air because it has lower density than the air. If you increase the value of density, you will see the ball will fall to the ground again because now it has greater density than the air. Then we have another thing, the edge blur. If you change the value, you will see the edges of the object will become blur. Make it 0.2. You see now it has less blur. Make it 0. There is no blur effect now. Now let's come to this material velocity. Change the value of this material velocity. You will see that the object is rotating as well as moving. This is the position. You can change the position of the object by changing the value of the poses. The first one shows the x value and the second y value. Now let's come to the protractor. Uh, you can make a protector from the circle. As you can see, this circle has now become like a protector. Make it true, make it false, the protector will disappear. This is radius. It changes the radius of the circle. It means that you will increase the size or decrease the size of the circle. Now let's decrease the radius. You will see the circle will become smaller now. If you make this value true, you will see the forces arrows, one upward and one downward. And the second one will show the momentum. By making uh, this value true, that is show velocity, it will show you the direction of the velocity. Let's make the position to zero again. As you can see, we have now arrows for the forces, momentum, as well as velocity. 
If you change the value of this property to one second, it means the object will live for one second only and then it will disappear. This has a two values, one is for x-axis and another is for y-axis. This uh, gives velocity to the object. Let's increase this x velocity of this object. You will see that it will start moving towards the left side because we changed the value of this velocity. So that was all for today. Thank you. Bye.